herding dogs definitely need a job to do. And one of the advantages to that is having a dog that wants and needs to be your companion and work alongside of you. No matter what you're doing, visiting relatives, going to the store, taking a walk, sheep herding, playing frisbee, they just want to be in the thick of things. This is Image, the Border Collie, and Border Collies are generally strong-eyed herding dogs. They use a hard stare, crouching, and presence to get the sheep moving in the direction they want them to go. An interesting thing about sheep is, if they turn to your dog and put their heads down to assess the situation, your dog has their respect. Usually. She's scoping things out and trying to figure out this game. This is her first time on sheep, so she's unsure how to get them to do what she knows that they need to do. So yeah, she's going in there willy-nilly like a puppy would, and it's just a little confused. This is Trekkie, the Belgian sheepdog, and he's one of the Belgian shepherds. And Belgian shepherd dogs usually work more upright and push their sheep and are considered more of a loose-eyed dog. And boy is he having fun. <laughs> He's being naughty and trying to bite them. Not all Belgian Shepherds are loose-eyed and not all Border Collies are strong-eyed. Depends on the dog and their particular style and working sheep. He says those two are with the Shepherd, I need to, but I need them. So the purpose of introducing puppies to sheep is to see how their herding instinct may change and or their style. Some dogs can change their style depending on age, ability, etc. Older dogs can have difficulty doing the bigger outruns on a larger herd than they once did. This is Axel, a Belgian Tervuren, also a Belgian Shepherd. And he is more of a loose-eyed dog as well. Image and Axel were both on ducks at the age of eight weeks. And that outing was to establish whether they had the herding instinct and how strong it was. When you expose puppies to ducks early in life, do so in smaller groups so you can get a better picture for who stands out more with better herding ability without getting overwhelmed by their siblings. The pups look to their leaders for cues on what to do. And again, Axel and Image, this was their first time on sheep, so the best recommendation from the instructor, his name is Kelly Martin, and what his best recommendation was is to be quiet and let the dog figure it out. So he pretty much told me to shush. <laughs> But watching a dog do what it's bred to do is probably one of the most fun things ever. The point to us pushing on the sheep is we are their pack leader and if the pack leader is able to make them do what we want them to do then the dog should be able to make them do what they want them to do. Silly puppies. Sometimes people need more obedience training than dogs do. 